Jose and I want to share with you some really good news. At the moment we're living through the midst of lots of bad news. Uh, we're living through this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, a lot of us have had our routines and our normal lives thrown completely out the window. Some of us having to spend many, many hours at home, not able to go into the office or our place of work. Some of us having our kids at home, and that's a really hard time. And a lot of us not being able to spend any time with our friends and family. And some of us unemployed and out of a job. Now, in this really hard time, we can look forward to things going back to normal. Just when things are good again, we can have hope in those things. Maybe you're having hope in seeing your friends. You took it for granted before. I'm certainly feeling that way. But today I want to share with you some good news because Jesus, he gives us hope beyond all of those things. Jesus gives us hope forever. Today I'm going to look into the Bible. I'm going to look at the time where Jesus met a paralyzed man. Now to set up the story, Jesus, he's an absolute rock star. Jesus, he's been going over the countryside, speaking to people about the kingdom of God. He's been casting out evil spirits and he's been healing lots and lots of people. So Jesus gets to this place called Capernaum and people rush to this house where he's going to preach and he's going to do miraculous things. So there's no room uh, for the sick people who are just too slow to get to that house. This place is already packed outside the door. But there's a paralyzed man. And you can imagine, this paralyzed man, there was no way he was getting in this house. But his friends, the paralyzed man's friends, they see Jesus as this man's hope. They see Jesus as the one who can heal him, who can make him walk again. Because he can't care for himself, he can't work for himself. He has to rely on the kindness and the compassion of the people around him. So the friends, they bring the paralyzed man to this house. There's no room inside, so they do something incredible. They climb up onto the roof, which is a flat roof back in those days in ancient Israel. They dig through it and they lay their friend down at the feet of Jesus. Now, if you're in this crowd inside this house, you're expecting big things. Not only is this rock star Jesus in the room speaking to the crowd, a hole is in the roof, a paralyzed man, a sick person has been laid down in front of Jesus and now you're expecting something big. So what does Jesus do? He looks at the man. He sees that he can't walk. What does he say? I'll read from Mark chapter 2 verse 5. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, son, your sins are forgiven. Son, your sins are forgiven. And that's pretty wild. Why would Jesus do that? Why would Jesus not just ask him to pick up his mat and walk? Now, it's clear to see in the story, Jesus sees this man's sin as his greatest problem. Jesus sees that this man has lived without Jesus or God as his king his whole life. Jesus sees that this man has lived his life in rebellion against his creator. And so he solves his biggest problem. He doesn't ask the man to be good enough or successful enough. Rather, he sees that his friends and him trust him. And so he forgives this man's sin forever. That's a really good news story. I think it's so amazing that, this, that Jesus doesn't ask this man to do anything. Rather, he sees his trust and he forgives him. Now, if you think this is outrageous, you're not the only ones. There's also the teachers of the law or the religious leaders of the day in that room. And I think, who is this man, Jesus, that claims to have the same power as God, that claims to be able to forgive sins? And Jesus, even though they don't say it, he knows what they're thinking in their minds and in their hearts. And he responds to them. He says in verse 10, But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. And you can imagine what happens next. Something miraculous. The man gets up, picks up his mat, and he goes home. And the crowd, they praise God and they say, we have never seen anything like this. Jesus shows that he has authority to heal the man. But more than that, he shows he has authority and desire to forgive his sins. To restore his relationship with God forever and to give him hope forever. Now, as we see this story in the Bible, Jesus meeting and forgiving and healing the paralyzed man, that leaves us with two questions. 
Do we think the same as Jesus? Do we see sin as our greatest problem? Do I see sin as my greatest problem? Do I see sin as the brick wall separating me from God, my creator? And because of that, I have to ask the question, who do I trust to fix my greatest problem? Do I see Jesus as my only hope? Do I trust that Jesus has the desire and the authority to forgive my sins, to give me hope forever, a restored relationship with my creator God? Those are two questions for us after seeing this good news story in the Bible. Now, if you have thoughts or questions today about the things that you've heard, please talk to the person who shared this video with you or go back to the website where you found this video. I hope you've enjoyed this good news story. Thank you.